in our final southeastern Louisiana edition of Coast Connections, we tell you how one Bay St. Louis native used an unexpected promotion to elevate the status of an entire Division I athletic department. We've had guys that were really good on the field and terrible in the classroom, they're not here anymore. We've had guys that were great in the classroom, terrible in competition, they're not here anymore. I've had a coach ask me, well, do you want me to coach? you want me to spend time and, and make sure they graduate? I want you to do both. If you can't do all three, then you can't do your job. There's a palpable sense of purpose in the southeastern Louisiana head coaches meeting, and it starts from the top, from athletic director Jay Arteagues. But the review came back very, very complimentary. It was really good, so kudos to Justin and to all y'all. The fact that Artigues leads his department like a head coach leads his players should come as no surprise, considering his background. Yeah, it, it is. It's, it's really different, you know. And it wasn't something that I planned. It wasn't something that I sought after. It was something that was presented to me. Artigues spent 21 years as a baseball coach, including eight as Southeastern's head man. All the while, the Bay St. Louis native never strayed from his roots. From his high school alma mater. Did you get my Stanislaus picture in that song? I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> to his playing and coaching days in Poplarville. That was four of the best years of my life. That was the, one of the funnest jobs I've ever had was at Pearl River. His coast ties remained influential, even through the biggest promotion of his career. Please welcome J.R. Teagues as athletic director for Southeastern Louisiana University. You know, so do I miss it? Oh God, I miss it like crazy. I'd rather be in a dugout and sit behind that desk, but I really enjoy it. Becoming the Lions athletic director in 2013, Artigue set out to build a winning culture, and he knew exactly who he needed on his team to do so. There was a lot of things that had to change here. Number one, the mentality. Number two, just the, the expectations here. You got five of them. You got five of them. He promoted Matt Reiser, his Pearl River protege who became the most successful head baseball coach in Southeastern history. I guess when you look at it like a dad, and as a dad you can see it when you see your kids succeed, but I'm not that old, it's not like he's my son, but watching Matt have the success he had is, is awesome. You're not in any reason to have to panic, just play smart every possession. He hired Jay Ladner, a longtime St. Stanislaus basketball coach that now has the Lions on the verge of their first conference championship in 13 years. Jay Ladner was one of the guys that I knew I wanted to target if this job came open. You know, he had all the qualities. You knew he was going to be successful, and he's a rocket y'all. I mean, he can't help but be successful. And with the help of those friends from back home, he's elevated the Lions into contenders across the board. I want to win championships because Roz has brought championships here. Coach Ladner guaranteed us a championship this year. <laughs> it's coming. While Artigues didn't necessarily set out to fill his department with Coast Legends, it's paying dividends on and off the court. You got your personal family, but you got your athletic family as well. And that type of atmosphere that you're in on a daily basis, that type of environment, just it, it encouraged that culture to, to win championships. It, it, it makes it enjoyable to come to work. And, and, and you know, that, that you're, you feel like that you're part of something bigger than yourself or your program. It's not a coincidence we did that. You know, getting guys with the character that Jay has and what Matt has is why we're being successful, no question about it. And it's giving high schoolers on the coast at least one more option when considering their collegiate careers. I think it was an untapped area when I was coming through high school, to be honest with you. I didn't know a lot about Southeastern, in all honesty. I really wasn't sure. I knew it was a four-year school, but uh, had no idea about Hammond, had no idea about the campus, and this is only an hour away from where I'm growing up from. Coach Artigues has, has changed the attitude and mindset of our athletic department, and all of our programs are doing extremely well. And then to have the Coast connection was really great, and you're seeing Southeastern make, Louisiana, I think, make a strong imprint over on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. When I got this job, I wanted to make that a point to where we want to give the kids on the coast a reason to want to be here. We recruit the Mississippi Gulf Coast hard for many reasons. There's a lot of talent down there, tough, hard-nosed kids that are usually raised from great families, and that's the kind of people we want here at Southeastern. And tonight, our Coast Connections continue to shine. Jay Ladner's basketball squad sweeps New Orleans to stay in the conference title hunt, and Matt Reiser's baseball team just knocked off 14th-ranked LSU at home. A happy day in Hammond, America.